Okay, welcome to the series on permutations and combinations. We're going to start with the multiplication principle and the, I guess, the theorem or definition of multiplication. Uh, the multiplication principle goes like this. Suppose you have tasks T1, T2, so on, all the way up to Tn. So we've got an n number of tasks where there are well, n1 ways of completing task 1, n2 ways, again n1, n2, these are all numbers, n2 ways of completing task 2, and n, little n, subscript n, ways of completing the nth task. Then the number of ways of completing or arranging okay, uh, your tasks, so the number of ways is, and you would multiply all of them together. Okay, so if you want to know how many ways you can complete all your tasks, figure out how many ways you can complete each task, which we're doing down here, and then multiply them all together. Okay, so let's go over an example on completing tasks and finding out how many ways we can do that. Okay, our first example. In the game Blackjack, a two-card hand consisting of an ace and either a face card or a ten is called Blackjack. If a standard 52 card deck is used, determine how many blackjack hands can be dealt. So the multiplication principle is perfect for this because we have tasks and each task has a number of ways or number of ways to be completed. So we have two tasks in order to get blackjack. The first task, okay, and by the way, this, this is what I would call the task method. You would write a uh, horizontal line representing each task. Okay. Now an example of blackjack would look something like this. Here's one way of getting blackjack. So again you can get an it has to be an ace with either a face card or a ten. So this is a ten and an ace. Uh, we can do one with an ace and let's say a jack. So here's one with a jack. Uh, you can do it with a king. And finally, we can have blackjack with a queen. Now that we've gone through all the different types of blackjacks, let's see how many ways we can get blackjack. All right, so let's remove the two cards. Okay, to simplify this, uh, let's just say that this is where the ace will be. And then this is where we'll just say F for face card or the 10. Now how many ways can you get an ace? So we have 52 cards, and so if you're familiar with a deck of cards, there are four aces in the deck. All right, so as far as the, the task of getting an ace goes, how many ways can you get an ace? There are four ways of doing it. Now how many ways can you get a face card or 10? Now there was the jack, the king, and queen. All right, so there are the jack, there are four, the queen, there are four, the king, there are four, and finally the ten, there are four. So as far as the total number of ways we can do this, sixteen. All right, and the multiplication principle says that if you want to know the number of ways of, in this case, getting a blackjack, so the number of ways of completing these tasks, getting an ace uh, or a f uh, and a face card or ten, you would multiply these two numbers together. So down here, I will write the number of ways to get blackjack. Is so four times sixteen, sixty four ways. All right. Okay, in this example, in the past, license plates consist of three letters followed by three digits. How many different license plates can be issued under this arrangement? Well, this is an example of one type, well, one type of license plate, where you can see that it's three letters followed by three digits. Now, each place is considered a task. So how many tasks do we have? We have a total of six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out, I'm going to use our task method, and each, again, each place represents a task, 
And what I'm going to do in, on top of each line, figure out how many ways can we do that task. Okay, so in the first one, this has to be a letter. And how many letters do we have? Now, we don't have lowercase ones. It's just going to be uppercase. So we have 26 uppercase letters. Now, this one also has to be a letter. All right. And it, we're allowed repeats. It doesn't say anything about not, you know, not allowing a repeat. So we still have 26 possible letters. And in the third spot, we also have 26 possible letters. And then it's followed by three digits. Okay, so each digit, there are 10 total digits, 0 through, so 0 through 9. Okay. All right, so 10 digits here. Then we have another digit, 10, and our last, which is also a digit. Now that I've figured out how many ways I can complete each task, the multiplication principle says if I want to know how many ways I can then form this license plate, I would multiply the number of ways I can complete each task. So the number of license plates is, and then we would multiply them all together. So we have 26 times 26 times 26. Those are from our letters. And then we have 10 times 10 times 10 from our three numbers. And if you multiply all that stuff out, we get 157, oh, I'm sorry, 1757600. Okay, so 17,576,000. Now, if this was statewide, because I'm not sure how many people we have in our state, but 17 million, we're getting close. So uh, it's possible that you can run out of license plates. So they have, you have to switch to a different order. Maybe you can have lowercase letters, or maybe you can have all numbers or all letters or something like that. In case, because again, if you're gonna, if you need more possibilities or more arrangements, then just allow more characters. Well, anyways, that's the example using the license plates. Um, I think that's that's it. So we'll. Move on to the next video.